My name's Wayne Phillips. I'm a lecturer in ecology and conservation at Mahidon University International College. So my focus is just on education, but also to help rebuild the reef. Uh, I've been going to this island since 1997. Um, I learned to dive there. I went back to the UK to do my PhD, but when I came back, started working here, went immediately back to the island and I was devastated to see how much of the reef had actually been damaged by tourism. So what we're trying to do is change the way tourism does things. You know, everything it does, it does in the wrong way and it ends up either destroying the reef or teaching people how to destroy the reef. So what we've been doing is assessing the potential threats to the integrity of the reef so that we can challenge the way things are done, train tour guides to be better tour guides and to stop the tour guides from damaging the reef themselves but also to pass on best practices to the tourists who come to visit so that we're trying to generate something that's different, something that doesn't exist here in Thailand, especially not in Pattaya. People come to the beach, they leave the beach, they come to the reef, they swim on the reef, but they don't know what they're looking at. And I find that a dreadful shame. So one of the things we're trying to introduce is this concept of learning. People come to learn about what they're actually doing. You know, and I think that's really important to the, the state of affairs. If we want to protect the reef, people have to know how they can protect the reef themselves. I think the initial way is the way people get to the reef itself. Um, because people come for short holidays, uh, maybe three, four, five days, time is of the essence. So, of course, they want to get to the reef quickly as possible so they can go on to somewhere else. And this is one of the big problems because they get to the reef or the beach by speedboat and that speedboat itself is the problem. It generates a lot of noise, it generates a lot of wake with the waves. So of course the noise is a physiological stress to all of life and that wake resuspends sand onto the corals which will then need to expend energy to get that sand off of it so that it can get the sunlight to allow it to photosynthesize and live. But that noise and that boat wake generates a problem but then we have the boat captain using an anchor on the reef itself. Lots of people, the boat captains, will generally sometimes use the anchor in the sandy area in the expectation that that doesn't cause as much damage as it does on the reef, which is generally true. But we do often see boat captains throwing their anchors on the reef itself, and that's a massive problem because it, it damages the reef itself, but also it gives the wrong kind of image to tourists. If, if the tourists see the boat captain throwing an anchor on the reef, they will behave accordingly. And what I've been doing is researching the behavior of tour guides, assessing how quickly they contact the reef and what they do once they're in the reef, and comparing the behavior of the tour guides with the tourists and the tourists who come with a tour guide or who don't come with a tour guide. And generally, unfortunately, what we're finding is that those tourists that come without a tour guide behave better than those with a tour guide. Those tourists with a tour guide are contacting the reef at a much greater rate than those without a tour guide. So the tour guides themselves are generating a problem. So what we're trying to do is teach those tour guides how to be a better tour guide, how not to destroy the reef. What we must understand that corals themselves have been around for a very long time, 100 million years. So they've been through a lot of climate change. They've been a lot or they've experienced a lot of different things. What they haven't experienced is the rate at which we destroy things. So if we give a reef space, it will recover. If we stop anchors being thrown on the reef, it will immediately start to recover because that's how corals grow. They are used to waves crashing on top of them. If they get broken off, and it, it, it can actually regrow. So what we're doing is using the fragments of the corals that have been broken off by anchors, by people standing on it, even naturally broken by waves, we can pick them up and use them to regrow an entire new colony, which is how corals grow. So this is one of the things that we're trying to do, collect the fragments of corals and rebuilding a new reef 
but at the same time getting the tour operators themselves to help us rebuild these reefs. They've the ones who have damaged it, so we want them to help us rebuild it. So yes, they can be regrown very, very easily. Uh, and that really doesn't cost much. You know, it's my, I, I see it as my mission to try and share what I know. You know, our focus at the university is to share our knowledge with the world. Uh, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're not trying to make money from this, we're just trying to do the right thing. So any help that we get um, doesn't necessarily need money. You know, it, it, what we do need is people to come along and help us what we do because the focus of what we're trying to do is, is just share information. The more information we have, the more we can share about the problems, the better equipped we are, all are to deal with that specific problem.